Greetings folks, today's video is going to be all about the Matec F722SE flight control board. It's mainly a quad flight control board. I do have a quad. This is the PIX7 designed by Pavel Spachalski and his recommended gear to use includes the Matec F722SE board. So that's why I bought it and uh, this is what we're going to talk about today. As a relative noob to FPV quads, um, I have to say I am absolutely blown away how well this thing is flying in my inexperienced hands. Seems to be rock solid, goes where you point it, bucket loads of power and speed, way more than I can use at the moment. Uh, I am, after only relatively, relatively few flights, um, I can do flips and rolls and <laughs> spins and all that sort of stuff. I haven't started crashing through gaps or anything like that, but for cruising around on FPV, going reasonably long distance now that I've got R9 on there as well, with, with beautiful clear video, um, mind-blowing really. And well, it's all down to the board really, and Pavel's recommended settings I suppose as well. So there we go, there's the board. There are two versions of this board. You can see this one has the gaps in the uh, battery pads, uh, and that means it's the uh, the barometer BMP280 version. There is also a DPS310 barometer version, which has um, sort of closed in that edge. That's just a hole for the battery pads. So, just two options with different barometers, basically. We also get a capacitor to smooth out any noise from the on the uh, power line it's sort of a top pad there or a bottom pad whatever you want to do uh, and uh, six rubber grommets as well I am much more used to uh, fixed wing boards like this one here with all the built-in PDB and all that sort of stuff uh, but there are enough similarities with these sort of quad boards that uh, you can translate pretty well um, I'm, it's preloaded with beta flight, but I'm more interested in um, GPS, INAV flights, waypoint missions, return to home, that sort of stuff. So the first thing I did was uh, flash INAV. INAV 2.6 has only just come out yesterday, so I flashed it to INAV 2.6. Uh, and that means that the um, DPS 310 barometer is uh, detected by INAV, whereas previously you had to download the specific firmware from the Maytech website to be able to recognise the DPS310 barometer, but that's all taken care of now. It has two IMUs, which is the gyros and accelerometers, uh, and you can switch between one or the other. One is the MPU6000, uh, very common, that's in a lot of boards, or there's the, the newer one, the ICM20602, uh, and you go into the CLI to switch between the two. You can't run them both at the same time, it's one or the other. OSD is the AT7456E. Has a black box recording via micro SD. Five UARTs with built-in inversion plus one soft serial. Uh, filtered VBAT for video transmitter and uh, switchable between two FPV cameras. Can run on 6 to 36 volts. Uh, it has a 5 volt 3 amp BEC. Can run beta flight or INAV, not RG pilot. And it can be used for planes or quads. Uh, with planes, you use the S7 and S8 outputs for the motor for the ESC. And S1 to S6 are the servos. For a quad or a multicopter of uh, different varieties, you use uh, S1 to S4. Or S3 or S8 or whatever uh, for the ESCs. So let's uh, swap over to a closer look now. So battery pads up here and we've got ESC connections on each corner plus uh, the R uh, plus the individual uh, ESC signals all the way around there. We also have RX6 for ESC telemetry for BL Heli 32. Now we have UART 3 here, UART 4 there, video transmitter there, uh, camera 1 and camera 2, and 5 volts for the camera. And over on this side we have uh, the other servo PWM outputs, servos or more motors. 
UART 1, LED, UART 2 here, current sensing pad there if you don't have a, a current sensor if you're using an external PDB, 3.3 volts there, uh, and uh, I2C connection here for your magnetometer or compass. Here's the main chip. This is the uh, one of the uh, IMUs. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, is the DFU button for putting it into DFU mode to flash firmware, uh, micro USB connection for flashing, micro SD card for recording black box logs, and we also have pad connections here for S1, S2, S3, and S4 uh, for an all-in-one ESC. You can plug it in there. Analog RSSI pad there. So I'll show you some flying footage with the PIX7, but uh, don't take your quad advice from me. Uh, just know that in the hands of a noob like me, it worked perfectly well uh, using the recommended set up by Pavel and uh, even just the defaults on iNav. Uh, works beautifully and uh, I will certainly enjoy learning how to fly this to its full potential. So there we go, the Matek F722SE flight control board. Seems like a beauty to me. Thanks for watching. Thank you.